Well, the push for the playoffs continues against the Columbus Blue Jackets, a team just trailing us in the standings. And we're coming off a disappointing overtime loss to the Philadelphia Flyers. We got to try to right this ship and get on a big stretch of winning. We've dropped, oh, we've dropped four in a row coming into this game as well. So we've got to get on a good stretch of winning and it needs to start against the Blue Jackets tonight. Home sweet home. Nothing like home ice to try and get the train back on the tracks. We've got to stop a, win uh, a winning streak. we got to stop a losing streak. Coming into this game, we've got the Jackets. We're back in the 25th anniversary jerseys, which again, we, we still have white helmets. EA Sports, the helmets need to be red. It's just so irritating seeing the wrong color helmets on the Hurricanes. And a bad turnover by D'Angelo right to none other than Patrick Line. Shooting blocked by Tara Vine. And I'm, I appreciate your sacrifices. And the Hurricanes turn it over in the neutral zone. Transition attempt. And then pretty simple save for Merzlikens. Dumped in by the Blue Jackets. We're going to go play it behind my net. And I'm going to be very cautious. Larkin across to Slavin. So pretty decent there. Kamel at center. Hands off to Bjorkstrand on the wing. Slap shot blocked by his own teammate. So we have yet to see a shot. We've had two shots blocked. One by Tara Vinen, and then one of the Jackets players just recently blocked his own teammate's attempt. Sillinger, our first shot. No. <laughs> Taken away by Boyd. Oh, we've got a fight. we got a fight coming up. Or are they just going to... They're just going to chat about it for a second. Brett Pesci and Zach Wierenski going at it. So Brett Pesci and Zach Wierenski, why don't you guys get a room? An ill-advised pass is Samuelson. Over to Sillinger, good rush for the Jackets. And they still have not generated a shot on that. We've played seven minutes into this first period of play and an icing on the Hurricane. So the Jackets win the faceoff and again, finally, our first shot on net, the initial attempt blocked down and we make our first save in the game. Jesper A. Kotkaniemi, hands off, Graves, it deflects into Merzlikens. So Boone Jenner, one of my favorite names in hockey. Milano, we're turning around in our crease. Oh my God, it's just chaos everlasting right now. Over the blue line, a shot, slap shot handled with ease. Andrei Svechnikov, the Russian superstar, shooting into the glove of Merzlikens. So we've got less than 10 seconds now. Four on four play. We'll be expiring. Two guys about to come out of the box. One for each team. And we're going to be scored on by Boone Jenner, who is also the captain now in Columbus. Again, it's another one of those cases of the puck gets deflected, blocked. What do you know? And it goes right to the stick of Boone Jenner. Of course it does. Boone Jenner is no longer one of my favorite names in hockey. And guess what? Dynamic low camera, it's back. Yeah, we gotta, we, we can't, we can't be scored on. One goal on three shots and stick with that camera angle. It just can't happen. At this point, I gotta do anything I can to get some good mojo going in my favor. Mojo, mojo, mojo. Svechnikov from the outside goes toward the net. One timer turned away by Merzlikens. Svechnikov turns around on the backhand and a weird flip play. I think he flipped it on the backhand. Behind the net, a great assist by Larkin to find Sebastian Alho parked right in front, point blank. And there you go, number 20 on the board. Always love to see when number 20 scores for this team. Well, Sebastian Alho's goal is going to make me feel better. It's gonna lift my spirits, but uh, I'm still disappointed to have given up the Boone Jenner goal. The man who possesses the puck at the current moment, but not anymore. Jarvis finds the point man Slavin who hands off to D'Angelo. Lots of passing and we're going to score posting in Dylan Larkin. And he had the assist on Ajo's goal. He's going to have the goal on this play. Back to back goals. Can't touch him right now. The Hurricanes. An excellent sequence of events. Great passing on that play. I think everybody touched the puck on that entire passing sequence. Merzlikens shaking in his crease after that first goal by Ajo. And now Kasha handles, dishes off. We may have had a save on that. What an awkward play as Neches gets shoved in front. A loose puck move by D'Angelo tried to show off the hands. They don't actually exist for him. And the Hurricanes will handle it through neutral ice into the attacking zone. Passes off. 
Moved by D'Angelo. I thought D'Angelo, and there it is. Bad at home. Three straight goals for the Hurricanes as Seth Jarvis is parked in front. And it popped straight up. What a weird play. It popped straight up in the air off of D'Angelo's chance, and he bats it as it lands in front of Merzlikens. What a weird play that was. Well, that goal support didn't take any time <laughs> whatsoever. The fastest three goals probably in Hurricanes history right there. Maybe, maybe that's an exaggeration. I don't know. Let's go Canes chant, and they have gone indeed in this period. Pesci finds a wide open Drew, and is he in the clear? He is, and he tried to make a clever drag move, but he lost control of the puck, the handle now. For Drew, and again in the slot area, turned away. Merzlikens being tested. Bjorkstrand, he's run over by Pesci, still laying on the ice. Boyd finds the pass to Kokanemi in the slot. The Hurricanes are on it right now. A shot from outside, we handle it, bobbled it a bit. Oh, we don't have the cover. I thought we were going to have a face-off. Spin move, look at drop past the Graves. Oh my, the AI is doing this. What have the Hurricanes gotten into? Jackets on the attack, I can't see from the corner what's going on. Jenner saved by Jenner. Right in front, we're going to let, uh, who is this? Who is number 20? I can never remember who 27 is. One-handed protection off to Svechnikov, but forced wide. Pizik. And the Jackets are looking to just simply survive. They just need to survive, get to the intermission, and they may not even do it. We still have possession in front of Tara Vine, and we do with five tenths of a second. We are going to score our fourth goal of the period. That might be it for Merzlikens. He may not be in the Jackets crease to begin the second period of play. That is four goals in the first period and a heartbreaker at the end of it. One last drop of the puck, and we can get to the intermission. Wow, Merzlikens, he's stinking it up in that crease. Well, Merzlikens is still in there. Maybe it's uh, Coach Blake is over there on the Jackets bench. Hey, I know what it feels like to be hung out to dry. Uh, I don't know what it's like to get scored four goals on in the first period, I don't think. I don't recall giving up four goals in the first period, but yeah, I can relate. I can kind of relate. It's the goalie union. Us goalies have got to stick together from the corner, Slavin. In front, risky pass to D'Angelo. Oh, D'Angelo, are you good, buddy? Might be an ACL. And D'Angelo still in the D zone after getting run over. <laughs> At least he's able to make a good play on it because he was still here. Bjorkstrand over return feed to Bjorkstrand, blocked again by a Jackets player in front. So I've gotten bailed out on three different occasions by Blue Jackets players blocking their own teammates' shots. Larkin tried to wrap it, but he ran out of space. Back to Graves, across to Pesci, down low to Larkin. The point men not shooting it, but they don't need to. And now the Jackets, three on two rush if they had hurried. They didn't. It's gonna roll past me now in the corner. Back to the point, slap shot coming, missed the target. And all the way back, Peak is gonna have to chase it down for the Jackets. He has gotten retrieval, but four checked by Tara Vinen. In fact, turned over, picked up by Larkin, who handed the Pesci. This could be a breakaway for the Jackets. Marchum, he's in. Over to Kasha, and we make a nice save with the pad. We get down in time. Jenner, another save. Consecutive saves in front. It rolled in on me. Someone got to get that, and it's going to bounce off of me. That was Kasha in front, and we have made three spectacular saves in a row. Now the fans are starting to get into this game. They appreciate what they have just witnessed in my crease. Chinnikov a slap shot turned again into the corner. So this is the pass off to Kasha. It was going to be a breakaway. I can't believe he passed it, but we get over on the top of the crease, stretch out that pad and make a nice save and push the rebound away from us. Then we have to make another save on Jenner and he tries to beat us on that blocker side. Nice pad save, just getting it with the pad roll and the puck kicks out into the corner. And in front of us, a weird scramble. I wanted to cover this, but I just had no way of covering it. And in fact, the stick in the five hole actually makes that save. And then the backhand attempt by Kasha that we get a piece of. We actually bat this way with the stick blade. Watch. Oh, there it is right there with the stick blade as we come out of the paddle down animation. Chinnikov, hands up to Roslovic. He's going to shoot through the traffic. We make the save. The puck is rolling around in a crease, and somehow it never ended up over the goal line. I'll take that whistle. Oh, man. Don't, don't let the Jackets test me. Jake Bean. Roslovic over to Bockwist. Down low. Chinnikov off a teammate again from the corner. I know you can't see the corner. Roslovic 
Wrap around attempt, no, one timer just missed it. And a penalty is coming up to the Blue Jackets as they touch up. It's going to be hold, and it's going to be Chenikov going to the box. There's the holding penalty. He held up Svechnikov. Oh, man, we get a piece, just a piece of the Sonny Milano one-timer. Hurricanes to the power play, the first one of this game, and a power play goal I think would certainly put this game to bed very quickly. Um, I know I'm in the crease. A lot can still go wrong. I was expecting a clear, but they didn't clear the puck. And Merzlikens is just going to cover that. Four first period goals on Merzlikens, but he has turned it around. Hasn't allowed one past him so far in the second period of play. The Jackets are going for it shorthanded. I don't know that I can blame them. Uh, you need to try and get... If you, if you were the Jackets, you would try to get back in this game any way you can, even if it means being a bit aggressive while shorthanded. You're down 4-1. to one. You need to try and find some offense anywhere it can be found, even if it's shorthanded. And right now, the Hurricanes, this power play is looking to strike for a fifth time. I say fifth time, I don't mean the power play striking five times. This is just the first one of the game, but the Hurricanes offense looking to strike for a fifth time on the power play. And they just might have done. They did. Svechnikov on the rebound. And that's got to be Merzlikens' night done for sure right there. I think this was a clever shot from Ajo, I think, off the pad, was it not, to basically... No, he passed it down low to Svechnikov. He got his own rebound. That's what it was. Uh, surprisingly or unsurprisingly, depending on how you look at it, Elvis Merzlikens is still in the crease for the Blue Jackets. So his form of torment continues. Marchman a save. We are not being tormented. In fact, we haven't hardly seen any offense from the Jackets in this game. I gotta be careful when I ask for a nice save on the play low to high. Another one. We were not even in position to make that save. Get on your feet in Raleigh. A penalty has been taken. And it's going to put the Hurricanes on the power play. Slashing. This time, Zach Wierenski. And Zach Wierenski slashes Aho. Oh, the, the stick was nowhere near his hand. Oh, man. This save sequence. Nice one there on Marchman to turn it into the corner. Excellent control on the rebound. And then... It's the low to high feed here. Do we get a piece of it? Oh, we do indeed on Kasha again. Wow. And we just turned this into the corner off the glove from Kasha. And then Boone Jenner, one timer out front to Kasha again. We're still on the post and transitioning off of the post as we make. No, we're still on the post. In fact, as we make the save on the back of the glove. Uh, the Jackets are just trying to do Merzlikens in, and they are actually going to clear the puck on this penalty kill. Oh, five hole right between the legs. Elvis Merzlikens, they're trying to do this guy in. He will officially leave Columbus. They keep taking penalties. Uh, surely, we score on this. We, he's got to be pulled. We put a 6-1 past him. I don't know why he's still in the net. Out to Kasha and off the glass and out straight down the ice. We can't play it until now behind the trapezoid. And I'm just going to flip it off the glass and out to Jarvis. Perfect. So again, cleared by Peak right to me. I'm going to come out, flip it up. And at the blue line, it's going to be Kotkaniemi. We're still stuck behind the net. <laughs> Jarvis to Kotkaniemi. Picks it up again. Jarvis may have been blocked by a Jackets player. Peak with a clear. We'll come out and play it again. We got this cut down. Flip it right back up the ice. And Seth, oh, just onside for Seth Jarvis. And we're going to score. Oh, my goodness. Seth Jarvis. Well, you can tell Seth Jarvis did his stretching before the game. That was just onside as he dragged that leg just enough to keep that play onside and allow Kotkaniemi to score. Uh, here's the big clear by the Jackets. You can credit me because I'm the guy that made this play happen with my beautiful flip out. That's why you play the puck, everyone. And look at this. Jarvis. Just drag, how is this onside? Oh my goodness. Look at this. The puck and the skate both cross at the same time. <laughs> how, how is that just barely onside? That's incredible. I, I, I mean, by mere millimeters onside. Look at the detail as he just drags the puck onside. And that's why you play the puck, kids. That's why, as a goalie, you play the puck. You can make all the difference in the world. It allows us a good offensive chance. We score on basically a two-on-one on, on the power play. Jarvis loses it, but it allows Code Konami to go in and slide the puck five-hole. I'm looking down there at the other end of the ice, and it looks like that's indeed it. For Merzlikens, it might be Corpusalo. I get the assist 
on the Seth Jar or sorry the Kokaniemi goal but uh, Jarvis kind of made that play happen and but it all started in my end of the ice with me the puck on my stick blade and Al Kamel for the Blue Jackets shoved off the puck a nightmare game for the Columbus Blue Jackets on the road and <laughs> Kent Johnson I I don't apologize I have no apologies no apologies are needed Normally, uh, I'm on the other side of these types of games, these 6-1 to one games. Normally, it's me that's giving up the six goals, so it feels nice to have a change. Tara Vinen, a big save. Tarasov coming in the net. Uh, it's facing his first shot. We can confirm it is indeed Tarasov that's in the Jackets net now. Tarasov just pr trying to prevent this game from flying absolutely off the handle. Uh, I, uh, I don't envy any goaltender that has to come in cold and play in this game right now. And speaking of being cold, we've been cold for a bit. We haven't hardly faced any action from the Blue Jackets. Had some tough saves though, and we're gonna save another one off of Jenner as the period expires. Routine is in place, ladies and gentlemen. The routine is in place. Let go! Third period in place. Routine in place, I mean. The third period underway. Routine in place. We just, we're well on our way to having an excellent save percentage in this game. We've just got to shut it down. The Jackets haven't been, they've been threatening, but they haven't been too threatening. We make a nice save to start the period. The game plan is just try not to collapse. <laughs> just don't have a mega collapse in this third period in net. Try to just remain calm, nice and steady, being a calming presence in the net for the team in front of me. A bad turnover, Voracek, and uh, immediately, it didn't take the Jackets any time. It's a turnover, as I was completely caught out by the turnover. Well, that insta turnover into a goal pretty much throws a wrench into my 900 save percentage plans, doesn't it? Bachquist with a whistler just wide. And here comes the Jackets again. Marchman a dump in. We're going to play this behind the net. Stop it. Slow it down. And who's going to get open? I'll just flip it out to neutral ice. Didn't like what I saw. I mean, I can't see anything from this camera angle. When I go out to play the puck, you can't see who's in the neutral zone. And I'm going to be holding on tightly to my controller. A save on Kamel. I'm going to be holding on tightly to my controller for the rest of this game. Another big save on Kamel. And a penalty is coming up. I think we've taken a holding penalty. No, it's interference. I take that back. Martin Natchez. So an interference penalty to Martin Natchez. He's going to put the jackets on a... Power play. Uh, Jackets to the power play. I think they have seldom had power plays in this game. In fact, this is their first power play of the game. And we're going to... Have we taken a second one? Five on three. Are you guys nuts? Yeah. Uh, this is going to spell disaster. Oh, doomsday approaching. Five on three for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Saved by Bach, off of Bachwist. Held in Bjorkstrand, but Graves poked back to center. Thank goodness it got poked back in. We're going to play it. Should I flip this out and clear it myself? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I totally did not mean to do that. Oh, my goodness. Well, I just, I, I was trying to get away from where the forechecking pressure was. And for some reason, I carried it outside the trapezoid. A minute and a half of five on three. That was a, a mental error that shouldn't have been made. Shinikov a save. Have I just created my own demise by taking that penalty? He may not be out there right now. Kasha, slap shot into the glove. He may not be out there right now, but this is a Jackets power play that has Patrick Laine on the team. Uh, I can feel... I can feel the pressure. I can really feel the pressure now. A save on Kasha. I'm shaking in my skates right now. A save. Blockered. I thought that might pop up into the net. Back to the point. Bean in from the point position. I think we just got a toe on the Jake Bean chance. Chinnikov blocked down by Slavin. The Jackets are trying furiously to keep possession in the attacking zone. And it looks like Jarvis, he's going to muscle his way past and get the clear. We've mostly survived this five on three. Pretty much for the most part, Roslevic download a marchment. I'll be tight to that short side. So as Jake Bean digs this out and hands off to Roslevic, we have a minute and a half of just normal power play time. Slapped off the leg of Ethan Bear. Oh, in front, saved. We've remained composed, and we're going to get a very fortunate whistle. Just trying to prevent this game from going completely mental right now. One, one timer, no. A, sa a shot by Bachwist that missed the net. Hit the boards behind me, blockered into the corner. 
cleared by Ethan Beer. Sillinger around the Hurricanes defense, a slap shot from an odd angle and rebound control of a trampoline as we flip it back to center. This actually allows Kalorn shorthanded and he didn't get a shot on net. All of that effort for nothing. Jackets trying to push the issue at the end of the power play. We made a save. They bump into me. It's going to count. That should be interference. That should be straight up goaltender interference. How is this not goaltender interference on Sillinger? He skates right into me. His, he's interfering with my ability to make a save right here. The puck is right there in the crease. Yes, you're allowed to go for the puck in the crease, but you cannot prevent my ability to cover up, to make a save. He kick, In fact, does this go in off the skate? No, it goes in off me. I, I push it in, but he's right there on top of me in the crease, not allowing me to do anything to make a save. Well, I, 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 I just don't understand how that's going to count. But then again, what is goaltender interference these days? We don't even know what goaltender interference is. Uh, obviously, these referees don't know what goaltender interference is. Toronto needs to be reviewing that play and calling it off. Wave that play off. It shouldn't count. And Ajo's drawn a slashing penalty. So we're going to go to another power play in this game. Well, Hurricanes can officially put this game away if they score on this power play. Uh, the power play has been very decent tonight. We've gotten really good looks. And I have an assist on a power play goal. Well, the good news for me is the Jackets currently, as another save on Rosalvik, the Jackets currently have over 30 shots on net. So with that three goals against number, we could, we could do a 900 save percentage in this game. It's very much a possibility. I'm trying to stay optimistic. I'm just trying to stay optimistic with this game, despite the goal. It shouldn't have counted, but I'm not going to harp on that for too much. Net's just to D'Angelo. Shot. Oh, did he just clang that bar down? What a slap shot from Tony D'Angelo. Well, that looked like a nuclear rocket going off the bar and down into the net. Tarasov, no goaltender stands a chance of stopping that. I mean, even in full goaltender gear, I wouldn't want to stand in front of that Tony D'Angelo blast. Here comes the Jack. It's Bjorkstrand trying to ruin my evening, and they miss the net wide cylinder. Eight minutes is a lot. It's a lot to me, and, and it might be all relative. Bean shot through traffic. We've got the handle, and we win the D zone face off. Oh, poke checked in front of me. He's counting on my teammates to play good defense. We've created a two on one, and we are going to score. <laughs> Well, this is just straight comical now. A mammoth effort by the Hurricanes offense in this game. Pretty much making it sure, assuredly that we are going to win this game. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that we are going to take victory against the Columbus Blue Jackets at home. It's just about getting out of this game now. Trying to keep the save percentage right where it is. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Jake Bean, he kept the puck in and it hits the post or... Maybe where the post and the crossbar meet, I have caught a huge break. So here it is, Jake Bean. What happens? Does it get deflect? It has to deflect. It does. It's in fact, it's an intentional deflection right there in front of Kasha. Oh, in fact, right off where the post and the crossbar meet, we catch the break of all breaks. Well, that's the kind of breaks I'm going to need if we're going to keep everything right where it's at. Oh, one-timer saved by Tarasov, so a good look to find, I think, Andrei Sveshnikov. Just need to have no clown world moments in that. Don't have a clown world moment playing this puck. No, here you go. Dumped in by the Jackets. We've got it. Behind the net again, trying to just move the puck quickly. And, in fact, Jarvis is going to be the first to retrieve the, the dump in by Ajo. Ajo has possession right now, and he hits the post. And just a forthright effort from the Hurricanes offensively in this game. The forecheck's been going. The offense has been going. The defense was going on that play. Great save by Graves in front of me. When normally the saying is take our ball and go home, I'd like to take the puck and go home. Uh, since we're not playing with a ball, the object is a six-ounce rubber vulcanized disc. Forecheck, maybe one last push for the Jackets to try and ruin my evening. We have possession. Let's just melt time away. And I'm going to put the camera right here. We're going to come out at the top of the crease. And what a game. What a game. Very solid effort. And I think an above 900 save percentage. Actually, I know it is an above 900 save percentage. Well, hopefully a game like that puts us right back in Coach Blake's good graces. A 909 save percentage. There was a goalie interference goal. 
that was not waved off. It counted for the Jackets that really has put a small blemish on what could have been an even better save percentage. But I harp on 900 and look at the grades. We have A's almost across the board. A B plus, I'll take it. And you know, I harp on 900 save percentage all the time. This is the type of game we need to have more frequently on the books. Coach Blake, did you know that goalie is 90% mental, 9% physical, and 1% EA Sports good luck? Which I never get good luck, which is why it's 1%.